Sheboygan police investigating recent Northside car break-ins, prescription drug take-back day announced for Sheboygan County, lawmakers slams public education spending. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, October 17th, 2019. Sheboygan police are looking into a recent rash of car break-ins. They say the north side of Sheboygan has been hit especially hard, and they are asking folks to please protect your property and lock your vehicles. According to the police, these thefts are usually committed by juveniles, opportunists, and those seeking to make money for addictive reasons. They also say that out of the recent reports of theft, none of the vehicles were locked. Police say these types of thefts are very preventable and they are advising you to safeguard your property. Lock your vehicles and please do not leave valuables in plain view or unsecured. These, this includes wallets, purses, electronic devices like cell phones and headphones, as well as even loose change or currency. Police are asking that the public also be vigilant in your neighborhoods and report suspicious activities. They say if you see something, say something. Funeral services were held Tuesday for a nine-year-old boy who was struck and killed by a garbage truck in Sheboygan last week. Roman Martin was killed while riding his bike to school near 14th and Center, and a GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family with costs. Martin's funeral took place at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Sheboygan, and St. Paul's helped set up the fund for Martin's family. They say 100% of the money raised will go to the Martin family. Three years ago, three of the Romans' young relatives were killed in a house fire. A 13-year-old severely injured by a car near the North High football field last weekend now has a GoFundMe page set up. Dylan Bogensell was pinned between two cars when a 16-year-old driver struck three legally parked cars near the field entrance this past Saturday. Dylan, who was in the eighth grade and plays for North, suffered extreme trauma and his artery in his right leg was severed. According to the Sheboygan Youth Football P Facebook page, he also underwent immediate surgery, but will undergo at least two more. Unused and unwanted prescription drugs can pose a danger to children, carry for po the potential for abuse, and the improperly disposed of can contaminate our natural resources. But on Saturday, October 26th, between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., Sheboygan County residents can safely dispose of pharmaceuticals at five locations. Controlled and non-controlled prescription and over-the-counter medications are all acceptable from households only, no businesses. Solid meds like pills should be removed from their plastic containers and placed in plastic bags, although sealed blister packs are okay while liquid medication should be in their containers, and those five locations are the Howard's Grove Village Hall, Oostburg School, Generations in Plymouth, the Random Lake Fire Department, and St. Nicholas Hospital in Sheboygan. If you cannot make it on the 26th, you could dispose of unused meds at any day at any of the five local police departments. A new report says Wisconsin has the second highest binge drinking rate in the U.S. Binge drinking here costs $4 billion a year and about $700 per state resident. The report from the University of Wisconsin-Madison's Population Health Institute found that over two-thirds of the econ economic cost of binge drinking is in lost productivity. The burden of binge drinking in Wisconsin report founded that 
In 2018, excessive consumption contributed to approximately 79,000 alcohol-related hospitalizations, 25,000 drunk driving arrests, and 2,500 alcohol-related deaths. The report goes on to call it a critical public health concern. And finally, the top man on the Assembly's Education Committee says Wisconsin is not getting nearly enough return on the bill, billions of dollars that taxpayers spend on public schools. State Representative Jerry Theisfeld yesterday said new numbers from the Department of Public Instruction show that Wisconsin is spending more than ever on public schools. $4.7 billion this year alone, yet 60% of kids in public schools cannot read or add at grade level. Thiesfeld says that the kind of performance is not living up to the expectations. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.